I want to spend a few minutes talking about the preloader feature that comes with Adobe Captivate. The preloader is what the learner will see after they click the link to start your lesson and before the lesson actually begins to play. The time the learner waits can be spent staring at a screen doing nothing or watching your preloader. I'm going to go to my file menu and I'm going to choose publish settings. That's going to open up Captivate's preferences dialog box and I'm going to select start and end. There are two areas of the screen mentioning preloader. Here where there's a field and here where there's a number with a percent. We'll talk about both in just a second. First, the preloader image itself or video. I'm going to click the browse button and that's going to take me inside Captivate's preloader screen. I'll drag this dialog box down a little bit so you can see it. These preloaders are simple graphics and they come with Captivate. Again, inside the gallery, inside preloaders. The AS3 folder has additional preloaders. These are flash videos, the Aero Swift, the Computer Swift. All of them are fine and none of them are going to negatively affect the amount of time the learner has to wait for the lesson to load. So play around with them as you see fit. If one meets your needs, go ahead and use it. What I want to do, however, is load a corporate logo so I can brand the lesson. Remember, the preloader is what the learner will see while they're waiting for the lesson to start. If there's going to be several seconds of waiting, why not let the learner see your logo? So I'm going to go to my C drive. I'm going to open up a folder. I'm going to open up a folder that contains an image I want to use. I'll go ahead and open up this crop logo. When using your own image, you can load up JPEGs. I'll click the Browse button again. And you can see JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, bitmaps, icon files, those are all good for use as your preloader. And Swifts. Let me press Cancel. So this crop logo is what the learner will see while they're waiting for the lesson to load. The next thing I need to concern myself with is the preloader percentage. The preloader percentage is how much of the lesson needs to be downloaded for your learner before the lesson will begin to play. Think streaming, you probably heard that term before. If I set the number to 100, 100% 100 of the lesson needs to be downloaded to the learner before any of the lesson will play. If I set the preloader percentage very low, like a 1, what I'm saying to my browser is begin to play the lesson after 1% has been received. Setting the number too high or too low isn't any good. Set it too high, the learner is waiting too long. Set it too low, the lesson will begin to play more quickly, but it'll herky-jerk like you've seen on some YouTube videos you might have watched. Kind of gets a little bit of the lesson, stops, gets a little bit of the lesson and stops. I don't think that's good either. So what do you do? I recommend, unless someone tells you otherwise, split the difference. Set that preloader to 50%. And I'll click OK. I'll preview the lesson. Now keep in mind that 50% is going to be reached very, very quickly because this lesson's being previewed on my local drive. So you'll only see the logo for a nanosecond. Don't blink. Here I go. Boom. There it goes. Gone. Okay, everybody. There you have it. Setting a preloader, either a graphic or a video, or your corporate logo and that preloader percentage.